nester, the cleanly functional group. This is a nester. Now you could memorize it the boring way, or you could remember the story of Esther. Once you know the characters, you can always identify this functional group. The star of our show is a beautiful young woman whose name, Hadassah or Esther, means star. She was a commoner. C can stand for commoner and common. But she's going to be queen. She is going to be queen because the king of Persia sent a proclamation that he was replacing his queen. And all the young women in the kingdom, including our star, had to go to the palace for a giant bivy ceremony. They got all dressed up. That C also looks like a fancy bracelet, and it is right next to the O, which reminds me of a crown. Our lovely commoner pleased the king. He gave them perfumes and nice-smelling resins and a place in the palace. Finally, he made her his queen. The single bond between the commoner and the crown is marriage. The R group, bond to the C, is our new queen's cousin, Mordecai. He took care of her and advised her after her parents died. You could think R for relative or R for advisor. It doesn't really matter what Mordecai looks like. Any R group will do. The king has his own advisor, Haman, which we can call R group prime. Once again, any R group will do. But I'm pretty sure Haman would like his R group to be prime, while Mordecai's is regular, since that's just the sort of man he was. There's another king in the story. When you see that the carbon is double bonded to an oxygen, Remember that our queen is a religious young woman who fasts and prays. Yes, that's two bonds, to help her to be closer to God, her heavenly king. Now that you know everyone, let's kick it up a notch. The king's advisor became angry at the queen's advisor because Mordecai wouldn't bow down to him. So he convinced the king, our group prime bonded to oxygen, to decree that the queen's advisor and all of his people would be killed on a certain day. The queen's advisor, our group, bonded to Carbon, told her about this and asked her to plead with her husband for all of their lives. She was afraid to do this because the king could have her killed if she approached him without his consent. But she fasted and prayed to her heavenly king for strength. After giving a couple of feasts to soften him up, the queen talked to her husband, the king of Persia, Carbon single bonded to oxygen, about this terrible plan concocted by the king's advisor, our group Prime, to kill not only her advisor and his people, but also to kill her. The king began to see that he was being used as the middleman between his advisor and the people his advisor hated. Incidentally, esters are found in fruits and flowers and perfume. What do you think Queen Esther was surrounded by in her Persian palace? Yeah, I'm going with fruits and flowers, and perfume. Here's another useful tidbit for you. When you name an ester, the name has two parts. The name will be in this form, alkyl, alkylate. The first part is named after the R prime alkyl, the one attached to the oxygen. Then the second part is named after the RCO, carboxylic acid, but changing the ic acid to eight. In other words, the king's advisor is named first, even though he advised the king for ill. And then comes the queen's advisor, who, like the queen, did not eat, no ate, before the queen began to talk to the king. To name that Esther, think king's advisor ill, queen's advisor oh eight.